when the temperatures go up, the air conditioning goes on. The change may seem sudden to us, but energy crews prepare for these extreme conditions all year. KDK's Megan Shin shows us how First Energy is preparing, particularly in Washington and Westmoreland counties. When it gets this hot, you do all you can to stay cool. That means hydrating, grabbing ice, and adjusting the AC as well. All of it requires energy. So what are the energy companies doing to make sure the power doesn't go off? There are so many reasons why we want to keep the power flowing. The extreme weather is, uh, is, is front and center. Before the long stretches of heat waves, First Energy works proactively to keep your power on when the weather goes wild. We're right in the heart of that inspection season right now. Right now, that season encompasses trimming trees, helicopters, filming power lines for inspectors to review, and updating substations with automatic computerized switches. It actually, it actually has motors. It can sense the problem on the line, and it can switch to a to an alternate feed for a while. The smart equipment shortens the duration of the outages, meaning less people go without power. It can also identify where a line went down or where equipment failed. You know, we're in a business to anticipate problems, and if, and if there are any, we will respond uh, quickly to those things. Three substations in Westmoreland County, one in Washington County, and one in Clarion County now have the upgraded electrical system. It's important because substations control electricity to numerous lines, serving more than 26,000 customers in our area. So inspectors bring cameras and tools to make sure it's working right. We do the same types of things in the substations where we put these automated switches. We are going in there with uh, special cameras that see what you and I can't see. Electricity, it's the lifeblood of modern society. And when we get those long hot days in August, we'll feel grateful for this time of inspection and power preparation. Megan Shen, KDK TV News.